If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village, idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh. Leave her alone! Ah. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. You shall perish! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark my words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Pick 
the wrong side! What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Keep up with you.
will help with smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Mr. Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Corbin. I merely assist. The Grand Prix coffee produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science but one that is already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm fine. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there.
you here, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to do that. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Carmack. Can't! But what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sent me. Show Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then.
Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> Tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post haste. in my sights. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard.
As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, we'll see. <laughs> Full sail ahead, lads! Anchor away! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And yeah, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or in the whiskey. Look, don't say that. I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Very dead, all that Not an end in an end. Says you. I think Drop it's a anchor. fine end to a game of cards.
Patrouillez le côté nord. C'est quoi ça C'est bien bon pour nous la finition. Je l'ai envisé. La cloche C'est un sonné l'alarme On ne bouge plus. Halt Attends là mm -hmm. Secouez-vous, on dirait des escargots. Criminel, pas de britannique. Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go to your cabin to arrange the work.
tremble before the Morrigan. Captain Cormac has Your the Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here ready for our attempts. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. There's our target, Shay! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel said! Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. We could both just leave. Ah. But then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. I'll catch up with you one way or another. Watch my word. Oh. <laughs> 
Bueno. at your business, say. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. The Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the Assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me.